Long ago, a sleeping princess awoke in a dreamless castle. Born without magic, Princess Sophia looked for the rest of humankind, but found herself alone. Through the dreamless castle, Moonfell Wood, and Goblin Kingdom, she ventured forth. and learned that the humans had fled to the sky, away from danger she was powerless to fight. Sophia did not give up. She made her way to Skyward Castle, hoping to find her people at last. But the enemy was waiting for her. Was she too late? What a mess. The storm and landing have messed up the saddlebags. Everything we're looking for is either hidden or scattered now. We'll have to look carefully for items in yellow. Milady, wake up. Are you all right? Oh, thank you, Aura. When that horrible shadow attacked you, I thought you were done for. That's it. That horrible beast sucks magic out of others, but you have no magic, so he can't harm you. Serves the hooligan right. Princess Sophia, is it really you? Have you come back to save us? He was here, Princess. The evil Dreadmire. He attacked the castle and sent a basilisk that turned us into stone. I have to find Grandpapa. He's the only one who can operate the Wing Fairy and take us to the castle. Please, Your Highness, hurry.
my grandpapa. He's been turned to stone. How long has everyone been like this? Please, you have to save him, princess. Pretty please.
Princess, you're back! I knew our Star Lanterns would find you. Every year, we hold the Festival of Stars for you. It's the winter solstice, you see. The king and queen thought the lanterns would help you find your way home, and they did. You must find the king and queen, Princess. Please. Take this magic quilt. Grandpapa said it leads to great treasure. May it help you reach Skyward Castle. It was horrible. Dreadmire attacked us, your highness. He tried to drain all of our magic. But the king and queen, your parents, they stayed behind to help us escape. They saved us. Please find them. Oh, oh dear. Your unicorn's injured? Then the wing fairy is our only hope. We need sky crystals to power the generator and get it started. I'm sorry I am of no use to you, your highness. Since Dreadmire stole all my magic, all I have left is this screwdriver. You did it! You saved Grandpapa! Thank you, Princess.
how you can get the sky crystals from the statue. I'm gonna go check on Grandpapa and Sis now. Come on, Mr. Vanderkins, let's go! Have the sky crystals. Wonderful. Oh, oh dear. I don't know how to restore the crystal generator without my magic. Away they flew. Princess Sophia and her new friends soared on the wing fairy towards Skyward Castle. As the wing fairy family went off to find other survivors, Sophia ventured into Skyward Castle alone.
That scoundrel Dreadmire's hoodwinked us. That basilisk will petrify us if we get near it. But we need to find a way past it.
When Dreadmire attacked, I thought I could hatch a cockatrice to combat the basilisk. In the end, I could do no more than hide the egg. Thank you for rescuing me, Your Highness. I see that you seek treatment for your unicorn, and away past the basilisk. I would be honored to help. A basilisk's natural enemy is the cockatrice. I hid a cockatrice egg in the greenhouse nearby, but you'll need this scroll to reveal its hiding place. Please bring the egg to me while I work out a treatment for your unicorn. You're as light be with you, Your Highness. You found it. Now we have to hatch it. Unfortunately, I remember the incubator was being repaired. The blacksmith was forging a new incubator frame before the attack. If we can fix the incubator, we could hatch the cockatrice. Here, I have a barracks pass you can use, Your Highness.
Your Highness, you've found us at last. A detachment was supposed to receive you from the Dreamless Castle upon your coming of age, but Dreadmire attacked. If you want to get past the Ivory Gates, we'll need to make use of the Ballista in the courtyard. With your leave, I shall see to it at once, Your Highness. Your Highness, I know how to heal the Unicorn, but he'll only let you treat him. The herbs you need for this medicine can be grown in the greenhouse and prepared in the windmill. I've also located the last piece of the incubator. It's up in the aviary, so healing the Unicorn to reach it is vital. May Yura's light guide you.
men and dragons live together harmoniously, achieving many great things together. That ended when Dreadmire attacked, leaving only dust and echoes. <laughs> You've hatched the cockatrice? Wonderful! But it's still a chick. Oh, that's right! You can make a potion of growth using the alchemy table in the windmill. I believe there's a book of formulas in there somewhere, Your Highness. What a fine cockatrice, your highness. Now you have to find a way to lead it to the basilisk. I hope you saved some sable corn. You could hang bird feeders around and bait them.
With a crash, the feathers flew and scales shed as the two mythical beasts collided. With the cockatrice's help, Princess Sophia could finally move onwards. Your Highness, the ballista is ready to fire again. But its viewfinder broke, and we need to find a new bolt to load. Once we've taken care of those, we can get into the castle. We need a crystal bolt head to replace the one that shattered when the windmill was shot down, Your Highness. Everything's ready, Your Highness. The ballista just needs some calibrations, then I can get you into the castle. If you'll follow me, please. Your Highness, we have to calibrate the targeting scope before we shoot the gates open. Please help me spot 12 target boards on the castle ramparts. Cautiously, the princess took her first steps into Skyward Castle. All was quiet, for the castle had been abandoned a hundred years. Still, something told Princess Sophia that she was not alone.
Time is short, your highness. It is the eve of the reigning star, a source of immense magic. Dreadmire wants it for its power. If he gets it, he'll be unstoppable. Their majesties were to summon the reigning star in the solarium when Dreadmire attacked. You must finish their work if you are to find them in the throne room. The research room has books on how to summon the star. I have a key to the solarium, but no means of accessing the research room. Perhaps there's a clue in the solarium. Yura's light guide you, your highness. Can't you hear me? Wake up, please! Jax! Why won't you wake up? Who's that, your highness? You're all right! I came here to find my beloved Jax! She was the best puppet dancer in the human kingdom! But now she's had the life sucked out of her! This was Dreadmire's doing, wasn't it? He sucked out her magic and now she won't wake up! If only she could hear her favorite dancing music, maybe it would stir a spark of life in her. Jix would dance to the music here in the castle to entertain guests. 
Last I heard, she was preparing some dance for the eve of the reigning star. Jix, you're back! Thank you, your highness! You've saved my beloved! Oh, my head. Last I remember, I was rehearsing a dance for the Eve of the Reigning Star. The court wizard was supposed to summon it by using the astral banners here in the solarium. Here, he dropped these during Dreadmire's attack. Any clues to these astral banners will likely be in his research room, and these gems should grant you access. Farewell, Princess.
There you are, your highness. A wall in the research room lit up after the raining star hit. Do you think they're related? I need to go look up this phenomenon. I'll be in my room if you need me. Do not be alarmed, your highness. I am the spirit of Patrick Dreadmire, loyal servant of the king and queen. The reigning star's appearance awoke me, and I am at your service. The shadows you fought are fragments of an evil familiar I summoned, but failed to control. I tried to stop it, but it killed me and took my place. Take this tesseract prism and trap him within it to end his threat. He battles your parents still in the throne room. Hurry, he continues to grow stronger with every passing minute. I read some of the books in the research room. I believe you will need a frost charm and fire charm to defeat it.
Oh, your highness. A thousand thanks for saving me, but by my stars, that was horrible. As if being petrified wasn't bad enough. Treadmire has to sick a gargoyle on me too. Your parents entrusted me with this magic quilt before they lured Dreadmire into the throne room. They said the quilt would help me reach them. Oh, I hope they're okay. Please hurry, Your Highness. It, your highness the king and queen are beyond those doors please only you can save them now be strong your highness with a great groan of effort the doors to the throne room finally opened before princess sophia will the princess finally find her parents and face the evil that had chased her since the dreamless castle? Hello? Hey, is someone there? Oh, thank goodness, it's a human. Hey, listen, could you do me a favor and get me down from here? I've been stuck here for a hundred years and it's getting boring. Get me back to the navigator and I'll make it worth your while. Thank <laughs> you. 
A.K.A. Thanks for Get Me Down. I'm Skullface, in case we ain't been introduced yet. Listen, I'm an enchanted talisman, right? I can't just let you do whatever you want. What I'm saying is, I'm magically bound to challenge you before you can touch me, okay? Don't worry, it's easy. I'll just ask you some simple riddles. Easy enough, right? Thanks a lot, Cupcake. Now you just gotta bring me back to Captain Jackdaw, okay? I owe you one. Fantastic job, Princess. Now just give me a moment to wake him up. <laughs> wakey, wakey! Hey, wake up already, you lump! The princess just saved your hide, so you'd better show us some respect. <gasps> Ow, my head. That's the last time I. Oh, hello, princess. But if you're here, then there... Oh dear. The King and Queen set up a trap and Lord Dreadmire into it. A timeless sphere meant to keep them all in stasis forever. They sacrificed themselves to stop him, Princess, but he's too powerful to steal away forever. And I? Well, I helped your parents hold off the Basilisk long enough for them to deal with Dreadmire. Look, I had a message for you from your parents, but I hid it in the crystal mausoleum. Problem is, I can't get it for you. See, here's this crown that will get you into the mausoleum, but I locked it in my cabin and threw away the wheel handle for the door. But ah, I do have the guardian bracelet they also left for you. It said something about uh, an unreliable custodian. Well, here it is, and may it help you somehow. Oh, by the way, I'm Captain Jack Dahl, the Navigator. Good friend of your parents, and pleased to meet you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need a drink. Can't find the wheel handle to get in my own cabin. My drink's in there. Where'd I keep that spare wheel? In the antechamber.
Hold on there, princess. Before you go in, I've got something you'll need. I, uh, I can't quite find the key to the chest the crown's in, so you need to unlock it from the inside. Don't worry, I have a gem of giants in my jar here that should help. If only I could open it. Um, a little help here. Oh, you're done. I was still going through my keys on this key ring to open the chest. Well, never mind then. I'll see you back at the cradle. Toodles.
where are my keys? I have to find my keys. I'd love to answer your questions, Princess. Only I can't concentrate until I find my missing key ring. Where is it? Well, hello. You found my keys. Here, I found this looking for them myself. You can have the first swig. The crown's made of iron. Wait, I know this. There's a kingmaker statue in the antechamber, using ceremonies for royal types at their coming of age. That should make you a real princess crown.
dearest Sophia. Dreadmire has grown too powerful, but against you, he is powerless. You are our kingdom's future now. Please, defeat him and lead our people with wisdom. Your Highness, Dreadmire grows stronger every second. Soon he will have gathered enough power to break free of the timeless sphere. With your immunity to magic, you're the only person who can get close enough to imprison him within the Tesseract prism. Please, Your Highness, save the kingdom. This is it, your highness. Only you can defeat Dreadmire now. May the winds favor you. Yeah. Go kick his incorporeal behind, Cupcake. We're rooting for you, so don't screw up. Trap me in Patrick's bauble. I stole his knowledge when I killed him. Now you shall spend eternity in the void, little princess. have escaped it so easily. No petty human can escape such a powerful magic trap. Ah, but you see, Milady has no magic. Such powers have little sway over her, you crude scoundrel. Now be gone. You have not seen the last of us, little princess. We are legion, and this world will be ours. Against all odds, Sophia freed herself from the Tesseract prism and trapped Dreadmire in it, sealing his evil away forever. But she was too late. The king and queen remained comatose, their spirits drained from their bodies. Sophia was now queen of the human kingdom and must lead her people bravely and wisely. But her journey was not over. Evil still lurked in the land, and she did not give up on her parents. Someday, she would save them, and they would be a family again. <laughs>